Hello and welcome back to our channel. I'm Roger and behind the camera is school. You will see her a little bit later. And this is our motorhome, it's an Adrias Sonic. Now we are taking this motorhome uh, from Norway and down to Spain this winter. And right now uh, we are in Berlin where we left you up in the last episode. And we are getting ready now to go into downtown Berlin for some more sightseeing. So if you want to come, come on. Our first stop for today is going to be Alexander Plus. I think it is the old centre of the old Eastern Berlin. And uh, anyhow, it's the, the little big square with that big long tower on. So we get our tickets and we get them for a special price. Of course, if you don't take the lift and take all the 4,567 steps up to the top, you get a good price. No, I'm kidding. I'm definitely hoping there. It's an elevator. Okay, so here we are inside the very secret room where you wait for the elevator to the top. No, I'm told this is the fastest elevator in Europe. Oop, go, go, come again, come, come, come. Was this the fastest elevator in Europe? Do you remember? No, I'm not sure. It's quite, it's quite fast. They will tell you in the elevator, I think. So there we go, we have confirmation. It is the fastest elevator in Europe. <laughs> Herzlich willkommen im Berliner Fernsehturm. Wir bringen Sie nun zum höchsten Punkt Berlins auf 203 Meter. Zur Aussichtsetage verlassen Sie den Aufzug bitte nach links. Dort können Sie die Aussicht auch bei einem Getränk an unserer Bar genießen. Für unser Restaurant verlassen Sie den Aufzug bitte nach rechts. Wir wünschen Ihnen einen schönen Aufenthalt. Now this may look a little bit odd, but in here they are playing... Uh Copyright music. Just listen to this. No, that was not copyrighted music, but well, the reason I'm speaking in this way is because I can speak to you and not get the copyrighted music on the sound. No. We do it in a voiceover instead. Ah, uh, do it in a voiceover, I said, but. Really, what is it to say? Just uh, look at the view up here. Uh, you know, a picture says a thousand words. Uh, yeah, swada 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 blah 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 yada yada. So loud music. It is very crowded here today. Uh, we have gone uh, one round and we have seen and uh, taking a lot of uh, photos and video as you just saw. And now we are going back down to visit. We will see. Well, we didn't go far. Uh, we were starting to get hungry. And with us, we have uh, Paul and Linda from Reislinda. And, um, I sort of know the city a little bit. They've been here uh, how many times Pat, before? 30, 40. 30, 40 times. Yep. So now we are just having a brunchish thing at this restaurant here. Mio. It's in the base of the tower. And in a minute, we will show you what the food's like. Are you hungry? Yes. Me too. They're not also hungry. They're both nodding their heads. Yeah. Well, here we have the food. I went for the shrimp salads, and Pear went for the traditional uh, currywurst. And your food, Linda? I have a Caesar salad, and it uh, tastes very good. Mmm. Yeah. 
They know their Caesar salads at this place. How, how is your soup? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> there is no spoon again. That means we have to tell the spoon joke. <laughs> Waiter, could you taste my soup? Why? What's wrong with the soup? You just taste the soup, please. Is it too hot? Is it too cold? No, just taste the soup. Is it a fly in the soup? Could you just please taste the soup? And I better said, I'll rest the spoon. Aha! Well, now we have eaten. It was a very good food, by the way. Everybody was happy with the food. The next thing on the list will be that big church right over there. So here we are inside a Berlin doom. You have to be very in here, but uh, oh, just look at this. Now, as we are on the subject of churches here, let me take you over to the Bryce Dance Plus and show you the new and the old Casa Wilhelm Church. These are also very beautiful uh, buildings. And if you ask me, really worth a visit. So that was the Kaiser Wilhelm's uh, memorial church, uh, the new one and the old one. And I guess some of you are thinking uh, this is turning into sort of a religious channel, uh, three churches in one day. But hey, today is Sunday. And now we are standing inside the Europa Santo and uh, behind me you have a very special clock. And at six o'clock something very magic with the water will happen. I get out of the way and you can see. No, the whole thing is controlled by some water mechanism that I really can't explain. But you see on the left there, you have uh, these water balloons uh, that refl reflects the hours. And on the right side here, you have this little uh, water balloon that reflects the minutes. And the whole thing is controlled by this uh, panel and some various pipe with some water that I really, really can't explain. Now we were caught a little bit off guard there because um, according to the phone it was two minutes to six and the whole mechanism with the clock starting happening, it's dropping its water and everything. So the clock is two minutes off and the big question is how do you correct this kind of clock? I don't know. Maybe you take out some water, maybe you put in some water, maybe it's heavy water. Mm. And now, the Festival of Lights. Now I was told that this year, 2023, is the 19th time they arranged this festival. And it really is a magical thing to experience. Now they put powerful projectors with some light show on famous building and famous landmark here in Berlin. And they do this various light show. And on top of that, they put some magical music to the whole thing. And it's such a beautiful, beautiful thing to experience. And uh, atmosphere is just pure magic.
Oh, since the festival are in October, I think it's uh, in this place to give a top tip here. Uh, of course it can get cold. So, if you come here, maybe consider bringing a tripod, a warm jacket, and stay properly hydrated uh, during your stay. Now, as I'm sitting editing this video, I'm thinking maybe some of you might be curious about our friends, uh, Per and Linda from Resilinda, that you saw in the video. Now, they do full time in their motorhome. Uh, you, they have an Instagram account and they have a YouTube account. And uh, but when I say they travel a lot, I mean just I, I will let this map here do the talking for me because um, yeah, they do travel a lot, and we have gotten so many tips for places to see and good park ups from uh, watching their uh, channel and Instagram. So I will leave a link to them uh, down in the description. And speaking of travel, our travel also go on. Uh, we are taking the motorhome down to Spain and um, well, if you want to see us um, getting out of Berlin and uh, further south, uh, you have to watch the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.